Hey everybody, it's the Bash Junkie here with my first tech tips video that I'm gonna release for you guys. And kind of a background of why I came up with this concept or why I'm gonna be releasing these videos. Uh, back when I started running Hummingbird Graphs, you know, there wasn't a lot of content online as to how to set it up properly. Uh, what are the features? Where do you where do you find things essentially? And how do they work? Doug Berenberg, I know most Hummingbird guys know him. Um, he, he has some great content on YouTube, but you know it's one guy. He can't necessarily cover it all. So what I'm trying to accomplish is to just get some other you know ideas out there, get you guys thinking about how to use your graphs, how I use them, what I've found to be beneficial, other things about the graphs that, yeah you know, could be improved. Today I'm gonna to be talking about AutoChart Live. And, you know, again, you can find plenty of information on YouTube about AutoChart Live and how it works. But we're just gonna do a little bit deeper dive into the bottom hardness and vegetation options within AutoChart Live, which I've found to be pretty cool. So, uh, one of the two I've found to be pretty cool. The other one's kinda of useless. So. Uh, let's turn to the graphs and show you what I'm talking about. All right guys, so I've turned to the graph here. And what I'm gonna do to show you how to turn this on is first off, you do you need a zero lines card made by Hummingbird. And um, I made that mistake at first, you know, trying to get away with just a normal SD card and that didn't work. So you need to go out and buy a zero lines hummingbird SD card to put in your SD card slot here. So that's what's gonna save all of your information. So first off, let's go to menu, hit it twice, go over to HB chart, hummingbird chart, go to auto chart live, and record, turn that on. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna start driving here. As you can see, it's starting to find the information. And we're out in 25, 27 feet. So uh, as you can see, that's a little bit deeper water. So now it's starting to create the contour lines. And we are, as you can see from my Lake Master chip, this is a point. But it's, you know, it's really, really good at just defining the spots on the spot. Um, so, you know, if there's just a little swing or, you know, a little sharp break or something like that, you know, this uh, Auto Chart Live feature is just really good at picking that stuff up. So, I use Lake Master all the time to just start. You know, as a as a starting spot, as a starting resource of where I'm gonna find some fish, but then I'll go over with this auto chart live and I'll just fine tune it. So as you can see, it got really, really sharp when we got closer to the bank, and then we're gonna head back out here, and we are just gonna continue to do this until we've covered the area that we like and that we find to be very fishy. So, um, and then when you're done with that, one really cool thing I wanted to show you was the overlay feature. Uh, so what we'll do is we will go into menu again, HB Hummingbird Auto Chart Live. And if you go down to bottom type, hard, bottom hardness and then visible, what you can do is actually head back out. Once that's turned on to visible, you'll go to your views, and this is gonna be your side-by-side. -side. This is gonna be your side-by-side, -side where it shows you your contour lines that you've created on the left, and then the bottom hardness on the right. And I found this to be a really cool feature um, you know in fact in, in my lake uh, that I live on and I fish quite a bit there was a little sweet spot 
that turned purple and so really hard bottom is going to turn purple and it's turned out to be one of the better spots on my lake for flipping and so just one example of how to use it but you can see i mean it'll and here's your i'll zoom in on this that's going to be your scale so the light blue is going to be softer bottom and so when you get out to the purples that's where it really gets to be hard bottom um so don't be afraid to just play around with this and see what you can come up with it it's not an and or like you need to choose between um you know your uh, auto chart live and the bottom hardness it doesn't both at the same time which is kind of cool I'm, I'm setting some waypoints here as i'm graphing but, um so definitely try that out um the other feature which is the vegetation i haven't really liked um you know when you're when you're bass fishing you're looking for very specific clumps and it doesn't seem to be very good at picking those things out um, it's only general areas which can be good as well you know again if you want to find start at least a starting spot and then fine-tune it from there that's great I just haven't used the vegetation feature yet but try it out and see what you guys think um, as far as you know any last words on this i've loved it so far i would definitely invest if you guys are uh, thinking about getting a helix or solix or any of the um, uh, newer graphs that have this auto chart live i wouldn't think for a second about getting it it is awesome feature um, and then you know again you got to get that zero lines card which is 80 90 bucks um, but again it's it's well worth that price to be able to uh, make excuse me make your own graphs and um, you know get better on the water because of it so other than that just play around with the settings uh, there's a lot that you can change for offsets and you know water levels and again what colors you prefer on your auto chart live graphs and just like anything else, everything is customizable. And again, you go into HP chart, and then here it all is. Um, one of the pretty cool thing I will talk about is when you go into your auto chart live, and you go into the bottom layer here in the bottom hardness, you can actually do an overlay. So if you go to transparency and you bring it down to like 50, you can actually see your overlay of hardness bottom hardness on your main mapping screen so hope you guys enjoyed and um, this is going to be the first of many different tutorials for you guys to just get better at learning your graphs and getting better on the water so take care <laughs>